and welcome to another <laughs> I forgot to uh, rearrange my tablet but I can't do it, I can't do it now welcome to <laughs> welcome to a next installment of what if blaze of silver editing and well it's already uh, a second attempt because I wasn't pleased with the result here. You can see here. Well, this time uh, we going uh, on the uh, we going uh, yeah further on the list, and we going uh, now with the villains again. Last time we. Uh, when we did the villain, of course, we uh, did a uh, flash villain, or in this day, or in this case, the slipstreamer, and well, did a uh, yeah, ultra humanite gorilla got a uh, gro go gorilla got grot gorilla grot <laughs> there, and then a hurry of that it seems, um, attempt, a mixed. Well, this time uh, we're doing a Golden Age uh, Green Lantern villain. I could do a Silver Age villain, but then it uh, would be uh, uh, Hector or uh, yeah, Tal Sinestro, but I don't feel like drawing Sinestro and Tal. Well, that's for another, uh, another thing. It may be a, a surprise for some, at least it was for me, when I discovered that uh, su famous supervillains uh, as uh, Solomon Grundy and uh, uh, Vandal Savage started out as a uh, Golden Age Green Lantern villain. Especially Vandal Savage is uh, probably one of the more interesting uh, Justice League uh, villains uh, in the couple of decades. I'm not counting this decades because it sucks uh, when it comes to superhero things. I haven't uh, touched the superhero uh, American superhero comic in uh, quite a while now. Well, Vandal Savage uh, backstory is it uh, hasn't uh, changed uh, a lot a caveman uh, discovered a magical uh, or radioactive uh, meteorite that uh, gave him internal life. So yes, uh, Vandal Savage is uh, a very civilized caveman. Which you see uh, on uh, the other side on this is uh, Gruul the Conqueror, who is uh, technically a Vandal Savage of uh, Captain Marvel. Yes, yeah, Captain Marvel, no, not call it uh, Shazam. It was the original Captain Marvel, and we call it Captain Marvel. Rule the Conqueror uh, yeah. had a quite similar uh, backstory, but Rule the Conqueror is more of a science uh, bad guy.
one of the more dangerous uh, enemies of uh, Billy Batson's uh, Captain Marvel. So in this case uh, we call uh, We're making what if uh, what if uh, the Age of Silver uh, superhero comics had something like the Vendel Savage, and the original idea was on uh, uh, both him and uh, Flusion uh, villain that uh, started to. Uh, At the age of uh, time, where we uh, was hunting, where, uh, where the first humans uh, were hunting to get uh, the first picks of wives that they were, were gifted by the gods on the second coming. Because when the first uh, races, uh, like the elves and dwarfs and humans, were uh, kicked out the uh, kicked out of heaven to uh, populate the earth, or in this case the ten, the elves were very light, so they uh, landed un uh, unharmed on the soil. The dwarves were hardy but too heavy and on the impact uh, they yeah, they ended a little shorter than uh, than expected with the falling damage and well humanity did splat and died but uh, they the uh, the gods gave them new chance And the best hunter get, uh, got uh, ten wives, and that became the wolf tribes. His brother was the second best hunter, who, uh, who had got uh, eight wives, who got uh, the big uh, tribe, or the boar type in this case. The second was the raven, who, who cheated, but got seven wives, and so on. And one didn't hunt, but uh, stole the life of one of the victors, and well, he was uh, punished to uh, to only uh, find eternal peace when his last, uh, when he was the last of the line of descendants. And this coffee he could only reproduce with people that were on his office office line. Luckily, it will it didn't have to be too close, but. But it was uh, rather uh, uncomfortable uh, the first uh, few uh, few decades centuries but I don't like that origin story for uh, so and because it's uh, November I wanted to draw a black guy so it's not uh, I use use a bit uh, of inspiration of uh, 
Overwatch is Doomfist a bit, but let's be honest, this uh, character has to be created in the 40s, so <laughs> a lot of curly hair in the beginning. Night in the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Well, in uh, Blaze of Silver, the world of D10 has uh, for humanity another origin story. Sadly, it is also with, uh, with hunters, but in this case, it were bowmen. And humanity was shooting at the star constellations to lay claim on the names. Of uh, the one that shot. So in this case, if there was a zebra, and the people in the world called that a zebra, there would be a chance that there was a person called a zebra at the time that named it. And so on. In this case, uh, with Vendel Savage, he is very old, and most historical characters are him in disguise. So, with this character, yeah, it has to be a bit of that background as well. But in this, uh, younger years. He refused to go on hunting, was uh, very lazy, and uh, lived on the, the toils of others. But then, No, his close relatives died. And had to hunt for himself. But because he was now a middle aged man, yeah, I like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm brainstorming, but he was a middle aged man. But was still a part of well, the generation that named it. So, when uh, he was a very bad hunter, but in his hunger he was uh, so. Yeah, hungry. <laughs> then he uh, extended his hunt at a time at night and shot something down that he thought was a bird, but managed to just uh, hit uh, one of the uh, stars that 
that uh, maybe even uh, that, that wasn't shut down at the time. And because he was so hungry, he ate it. Bring an extinct, uh, bringing an uh, extinction to the creature he shut down. Or the thing he shut down in this case. It probably wasn't even a uh, creature to be eaten. Even he doesn't uh, remember what it was because it was so long ago. But thanks to it uh, being extinct, its name got lost. and gave him immortality because it couldn't die again some say he shot that old and beautiful girl another say it was just a dog not to say it was a rock, but he ate it so just the same. Man, he looks now more like a uh, Degadon of uh, another uh, Golden Age supervillain at the time. <laughs> With all the black. So, like Vandal Savage, he couldn't die anymore. Yes, I like that backstory a lot better now. Okay, one of his uh, last escapades is one of the dead ends, uh, real historical things that I just made up, but was the great uh, farmer war in Kempen. In the case, uh, It was a rather, uh, yeah, World War II World War Two where uh, she did that. The camps and all of those things. So in this case, that was uh, at the time that uh, in the golden age, so he was there. <laughs> um, A 
really need some uh, more. Unlike uh, Vendor Sovich, sadly enough for him, he is an old man. Not uh, not as old as uh, one of the Doom Patrol villains. <laughs> yeah. I refuse uh, to watch. Uh, uh, I try. I, I refuse to uh, uh, to look something up uh, here because that means I probably have to. Very humiliating uh, over here. There, there, there. So. This old man. Yes, can be larger, but it doesn't look food. Let's try again. You shaved that away, so it's still there, but he shaved it away. That's a few liver spots, so. His uh, younger escapades, uh, <laughs> younger, is still one uh, a man in his uh, 50. F uh, let's be honest, he's a man in his 50s, but he looks like a man in his 60s. Because, well, older times. This is one of his uh, early edition uniforms. Another escapades of his was uh, Being one of the Eastern Liberator and yeah, and right uh, the one that he liberated from the Quen Ma's uh, slavering to take over the, the world of innocent uh, 
taking it to the west there. Well, I likely have to make some more camp and uh, historical timelines in the future. Would be fun. Especially your camp and has not even uh, countries like Egypt there. <laughs> So, how do we call him? Well, let's be honest, the name uh, Vandal Savage is, uh, of course, uh, likely based on uh, the name of the Vandals, who, was, who were in uh, Germanic uh, tribe that uh, sacked Rome. And later settled uh, where Carthage was. Yeah. So, no, in other words, this name means more uh, savage, uh, savage, savage, savage. <laughs> Let's see, how do we call him? The director now. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
me see here for the other day was it stone cold you'll sort her maybe i will do, do it maybe i will reuse uh, that concept another time but uh, the undying marksman they Duvour, Duvour the marker. Yeah, okay, let's uh, go with that. Duvour. Amund Duvauer uh, is how he is known, but it's Duvauer the marker. Of course, he has more names because well, he's immortal. I, I made I came more uh, more. I came more to relation that uh, relation re ra, re ah. So that's probably in uh, another concept I will uh, do for next month. Historical things. Uh, of course, but uh, they have in history. Elves and <laughs> the Japanese in this case are uh, not the elves but elves and japanese in this case in uh, the blade of silver are very nearby But most of the time she's just a warlord. At that times he just made it on the right part of history. Because 
mostly he likes to do do let others do the work for him. But mostly the power as a villain is just a sad little man that is angry he missed out of the, he misses out of a lot of things because well, he's an old man forever. So, that's better.
I forgot to do it. Shading, but I don't care. No, I didn't use any of them. Well, doesn't really matter. I'll likely make him bolt <laughs> in the next appearance. Well, he's probably still one of the richest men of the continent because he had much time to a mess world. But we're done. Next time, yes, it's the heroes again. And that means that means that. Yeah. Da The Spectre. Uh, usually I just combine it with the Silver Age uh, counterpart. But the Spectre has no Silver Age counterpart. So I just uh, use the one uh, that uh, is the closest to, and that is the Martian Manhunter. So next time, the Spectre Martian Manhunter. But that's next month at the earliest but until next time i'll roll out <laughs>